Now that you've unpacked your TC7 and checked that you have all the components, let's have a look about uh, how to operate the unit. This is the Mini DVR. It comes with the battery stored in the top pocket, so we have to fit that. Uh, there is a, a plastic sticky tab which you need to prise up. That's for taking your battery in and out. These are the connectors which have to line up with the connector cradle inside the camera. So we slide that in place, it clicks in and there are tabs on the end that slot into place and the back clicks on. Once you've got that, that is your mini DVR uh, ready to use. The SD card is a mini SD card and it comes pre-installed. Uh, it's a 4 gigabyte card and it can be increased up to 32 if you want to add extra capacity. As it stands it will hold up to approximately 2.5 hours of video recording. Uh, so it should be sufficient. Uh, on the side of the screen we have various uh, inputs and outputs and the standby and normal button but we'll come back to those uh, in a separate video. Uh, what we want to show you now is the basic uh, operation of the lance. When you remove the end cap you will see the main camera head which is on the end of a flexible Tip section. This is twist and locked into place, and then you can bend that to whatever shape you want. So, when you're putting the lance up, it's best to do this in a vertical position, feeding the sections up and twisting and locking at each stage. The lance can be used at various lengths, it doesn't have to be full length. Again, you just twist and lock. And to take down is the reverse process. Don't bash the end of it on the ground, you can't damage it. And when packing back in, put the cap over the camera and push back in place. This is your wiring loom. And on the opposite end of your wiring loom is the jack lead, which connects to the, DV, the mini DVR. The mini DVR has an on-off button on the top, which you have to hold down for 10 seconds. Incidentally, it is a bit of a, a, a longer hold than you may be used to, but that's what's required to get it to come on. When you do that, a blue light will come on at the side. Um, the USB cable that comes with it, standard fitting for any PC on this end. The other end just clips into the mini DVR player. And you will use this for, for data transfer to your PC as well as for charging. Uh, there also is an AV lead that comes with it if you want to watch on the TV screen. And the sharpened case that you have uh, is recommended for outdoor use if there's any chance of rain. Just push your unit inside. Um, this has a lanyard on it, which means that uh, for ease of use you can hang over your neck and work away at the buttons. The plastic won't interfere with any of the touch controls. So uh, I'd say that's the basic assembly of it. It's fairly straightforward. There is a full instruction manual with it which covers all the items and what we're going to do in the separate videos now is look in more detail at use of the menus, the software and some of the other features that are available on the TC7.